Can you all hear me? Yeah. yeah. Great, thank you. Um, so yeah, my name is Mike Kevin, I'm the marketing manager at uh, Green Man Gaming. I can confirm that Mark is a full-time job, um, <laughs> so thanks for that. Um, so, you, none of you here probably know who I am. So, um, firstly I want to say thank you to Byron for having us, uh, having me specifically. Uh, secondly, thank you for giving me a captive audience um, to speak to you on behalf of myself and Green Man Gaming. Um, so a quick potted history about myself, um, I started in the industry in 2008 working at PlayStation, um, uh, specifically on the EU PlayStation Network school. Um, so I was there for about three years, um, working across the various things, even the publishers and developers down there. Uh, games onto the store, um, so I helped uh, companies like Future Lab get Coconut Dodge and onto the store. Uh, having some visibility against the tide of AAA titles that were kind of prevalent at the time. Um, working on DLC strategy, helping publishers realise that horse armour is not the future. Um, uh, and also um, working on promotions and sales. Um, so quite a variety of things there. Um, for the past couple of years, before Green Man Gaming, I was at Sega working on digital campaigns for consoles, specifically in PSN and XBLA. Um, working on titles like Renegade Ops. Uh, Hell yeah, and with Double Fine on the cave. Um, and for the past seven months, I've been at Green Man Gaming. So that's just a bit about me, you know, give you some context about why the hell I'm up here on stage talking to you. Um, it's also a nice opportunity to get in front of you guys. Um, it's quite rare for someone from marketing to be able to sit and chat to, um, to, to the creative force, really. So it's, you know, it's, it's a really good opportunity. So again, thank you. So why are we here? Um, we're still trying to work out the kinks of our offering. Um, our, I've got colleagues out at GDC who are doing the same presentation um, out there. So we're, we're kind of speaking to the guys in the US and people from the UK have gone out there. We will see you guys here in, in London. Um, we're looking to improve our own indie offering. We've, we've had games on the store uh, since launch, since 2010. Um, but obviously we're trying to do a lot better. Uh, there's a lot of challenges facing you guys creating games, getting them out into the market and, and selling them and discoverability, but we realise that. Uh, we've spent the last six months gathering feedback from devs we work with, um, people we don't, what, how we can improve everything, every, every aspect of the store. Um, you know, positive and negative feedback is, is great for us, so like the sign-up process, merchandising, discoverability, which is always a hot topic, store layout, all that kind of thing. And it, and it helps inform our offering and the support we give uh, our partners and, and hopefully potential partners if there's anybody here who um, wrote some guys if you're really on being that's the um, there's, there's a concerted movement in the industry uh, around indies. Um, obviously you've already, you know, Shahid at PlayStation's already been mentioned. Um, he's a massive driving force to, to get a, a lot of kind of smaller games get into the, the industry, you know, a lot more um, uh, Sorry, <laughs> words have just gone from it. So yeah, so there's you know you've got you've got um, Steam Greenlight, you've got Indies, uh, the whole line of devs, um, and, and Green Man Gaming. We're trying to kind of get you guys on board as well. Um, um, and we're not we're not here just to say you should only be with us. We don't we, you know we don't think we're not arrogant enough to think we are the only people out there you should be selling. There's that great big beast called Steam, who everyone is aware of, uh, and doing incredibly well in the market. Some of you have incredibly small teams, some of you have fairly bigger teams. So if you can be, you should be on PSM, you should be on XBL, you should be on New Play and Origin. We're not saying just come to, to Green Man Gaming, but we'd love you to be with us. You put your heart and soul into your games, and we want to help you kind of sell them uh, and market them correctly. So some of you may know who we are. Um, I'm going to pretend none of you did. Um, so, we launched in 2010, we've got offices in, in, in London and Santa Monica. We're an online specialist, we're number two in, in, the, in the global kind of market for PC digital. Um, Steam by far and away, you know, head and shoulders above everyone, but we are, you know, fighting with <coughs> Amazon, Amazon, Origin, Uplay, Gamefly, and, and we're doing very well in the market, so, you know, it really does benefit you to, to be with us if, if possible. We've got a focus on the core gaming market segment. I mean, that for us is our, is our bread and butter. We are targeting those gamers who play at least 10 hours a week or more. Um, that for us is, is where we, we want to be. Um, 
We've got an extremely large catalogue, over 4,600 4, titles. We sell over 185 territories globally. And we've got partner contracts at the moment with over 300 uh, publishers. Um, we offer gamers multi-platform choice. As I said, we, you know, we're, we're not just about us. We're about helping people uh, sell keys through Steam, Origin, Uplay. Um, we also sell PlayStation, Xbox, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox 4 in the UK. Um, but we also allow uh, developers to, if, if you don't sell your game anywhere at all at the moment, a way in through Capsule, which is our own gaming client. So it allows our users to buy your game, load it up, play it, uh, but also trade it back to us when they're finished with it. Uh, we have an excellent rate on Trustpilot. I don't know if anybody knows uh, who Trustpilot are, but they're, a, they're a, um, a website that allows people to leave unbiased reviews about companies. So we will ask our customers once they've bought with us to rate us. Um, we've had over 2,000 ratings and we're sitting at 9.1 out of 10. Um, we get negative reviews, which is really good for us because it means we can go back to them directly, uh, <coughs> full visibility of everybody who's on that site and help them with their problems. So for us, it, it's great to get the negative reviews as well. Um, and now with our Playfire integration, so in 2012 we acquired Playfire. Um, we're looking to create one of the largest social commerce platforms, uh, specifically for people gamers who the majority of our users are. So, to help you boost your presence, um, again, this, this is essentially just a load of stats to say how amazing we are, so I apologise if it's a bit boring for you guys, but just to give a bit of context about why we think you should be working with us. We've got an incredibly huge reach. We've got over 41 million visits uh, across both GMG and Playfire uh, last year. Our unique users were up 35% uh, Q1 last year. Actually, last year we had over 9 million unique visitors. Um, so you can imagine a high percentage of those opt into our email communication. So we, we've got a large, again, captive audience that we can uh, help market to. Uh, we have a really great conversion. Our on-site conversion is 5.5%. The retail um, average is 2. Um, we have a very active user base. It's more than double in 12 months. And 50% of our uh, lifetime registrants are economically active, which means they've bought something in the past three months for us. That's what we consider economically active. Our traffic and sales growth has, has doubled. Um, Opt-in growth has, uh, you know, has, has been an exponential growth there. Um, and they're all in our kind of CRM program. So again, we, we can promote directly to them. We've got over 670 affiliates in 50 countries. So they are generally specialist sites going directly to the people who are buying their games. And on the bottom here, we've got the resolution is not particularly great, but um, here is from Alexa, so I don't, if any of you know Alexa, it's essentially, it's got an algorithm to rank your site in terms of popularity and a bunch of other things that I'm not going to pretend I know, but you know, the figures look quite good. So since uh, last year, we've, we've kind of um, outgrown game game flying in terms of people coming to us that then being relevant in the marketplace. Um, we were number like 42,000 and then we're now up to 7,000, so again, it's, you know, since 2010, when we started with a handful of people in a small office, we're up to 55 in, 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 in a bigger office now, and you know, our growth is, is doubling the army, we're, we're, you know, we're doing, we're doing very well. Um, and we'll help you sell greater volume. We've got proven high sales growth. Um, so this here, obviously, we share the titles and the revenue that has been made, but you can see here our top 10 and combined for last year to hit just under 300,000 units. So you know, we know how to sell games to people, essentially. Uh, we push high volumes, especially when the marketplace slowed in terms of PC game releases last year. We were still doing well. A lot of that is driven through very aggressive promotions and sales, um, which again, if, if you work with us as a partner, you, you'll have access to. Um, we not only drive revenue at launch, but we use our expertise to kind of help you along the tail growth as well. So it's not just a little spike in launch, or if you've got DLC, it's, it's promoting your content for a long time. And then, as that final uh, bullet point says, 70% of our partners are in the publishers of devs. So we're not all about AAA, um, and obviously we want more of you to work with us and, and to help push, push on, really. Um, so, if you did want to get involved with us, we've, we've kind of streamlined the process. Uh, you know, relatively easy to get involved with us now. There's four simple kind of 
steps to the process, starting with contracts, um, we've got a simple two page in, so of a 48 page document that you might not have the legal expertise to, to go through, or you don't want to spend money on getting someone externally to do that for you. We've got a very clear 70 30 revenue share, um, we've got a minimum three month rolling contract, after that we can pull out at any time, if we're not doing our job and making any money, you're free to walk away. And we've got an automated direct kind of process for payments, so there's not going to be any invoice you know, hassle you're just going to get your money and you know, tell you how much you've sold and you can It's easy game set up. You, you, you know, you supply us the key art, we agree with SRP and the three currencies that we support across those 185 territories. We, we, uh, we agree with your quantity of keys if, if you're on Steam or you play at Origin, and then we'll, we'll sell those to our customers. And then we'll go to market. We'll help launch your, your, your game. You, you'll benefit from our um, sales, marketing, and PR support. Our trading team have a combined gaming industry experience of 40 plus years, um, working at uh, stores like HB and Game Station. Our marketing team has, has got over 20. Um, you know, there's another guy I work with who is from PlayStation as well, so there's quite a lot of experience there. Um, some of you probably know our expert um, PR guru at the back, Tracy. Um, you know, she's amazing and, and knows exactly how to kind of pimp your games out as well. So you'll benefit from that kind of three-pronged attack uh, already. Uh, and then you've got access to our social channels. We've got over 33,000 followers on Twitter. We've got a highly um, active community on Facebook and, uh, uh, and Google. Um, and that's across Wi-Fi as well. So we're a very, very social company. And that, that's where we feel our expertise are. Um, and then you can utilise uh, Playfire as well, and I'll go on to Playfire a bit in the next slide, but essentially we will help you reward your players. Um, we'll encourage gamers to play your games. If you've got Steam achievements, uh, Steam achievements, we will use those to uh, benefit our participants in the Playfire rewards beta. Um, essentially, they're, they're rewarded for playing your game. Um, I'll go on to that now. Um, so at the moment, that figure's actually wrong. We've got 120,000 uh, active users in the Playfire Rewards Beta. And essentially what they do is, is playing games and earning money. Um, so we give rewards as GMG credit. So we're tying our Playfire Rewards back into our store. Um, so we're doing things like, first time we play the game, we'll scrape their Steam achievements, we'll give them, it doesn't sound very much, but we'll give them 10 pence, it goes into their wallet on GMG. So rewarding them for simply just playing the game they bought. And they don't have to bought it from us either, they can have bought it from somewhere else. Um, we're, we're, not, we're not fussy, we just want to reward our users and uh, try to kind of convert them back into, into GMG. We also um, do rewards tiered by difficulty, so we'll look at the percentage of players that have played the game, what they've earned, uh, and essentially easy rewards they get 10 pounds, really hard rewards they get 50 pounds. Um, and, and we, we release new rewards on a weekly basis, specifically targeted against new releases um, as well. Um, we've offered 914 rewards to date, uh, that's across 261 games, uh, and that's with a specific number of 658 individual achievements targeted that people are earning against, uh, and the remainder is made up for playing games for, for the very first time. Uh, and essentially, you know, we, we look at the service as pays to play, and that's how we like to talk to our, our Playfire users, is that you know, you've bought a game, you're enjoying it, but also we reward you for doing that, for, for tracking your uh, achievements uh, on Playfire. And Playfire is a really powerful tool for publishers and developers because it allows us to go back to them with millions of data points across you know, all the games that are released and say, this is what your users are doing. Um, you can already look at your achievement list, but we can tell you how many people have achieved them and, and, and hopefully use those to target them for the next game or, or something with another franchise that might be uh, relevant to them. So, to summarise really, I mean, you know, we're, we're lucky for you guys to join us and, and, and we're hoping that, that you can benefit from that through you know, our increased reach. Um, will hopefully give you increased sales, absolutely give you a reduced hassle, it's an incredibly easy process to get involved, <laughs> increased discoverability, and that's something that um, will definitely improve over time. We're, we're refining the process as the months go on, and we absolutely have a lot of improvements to make, we know that. 
um, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, and, and we absolutely need more feedback from you guys to, to, to improve that. And the ability to tap into our marketing expertise, so we can you know, obviously have pressure again on the launch and beyond. And there's uh, your main contact at the top there is, is Nick from our trading team. Some of you may have already chatted <coughs> or, or had conversations with him, or you may have already got, had, you, know, you might already have a contract with GMG through. Nick, Nick's actually a GDC, but he would be your first point of contact in terms of getting a contract out, looking for a sign Nick coming back. And then you'd be passed on to, to Tracy and myself to kind of look at how we can support your game uh, beyond that. And that's it. I think I've kind of rattled through that a lot quicker than I expected, actually. But, um, uh, so thank you, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. <coughs> um, do, you, do you take early access titles? Uh, we, we are looking at that, yes, absolutely. So at the moment there are a bunch of titles that have just gone to early access that we have um, then swap the original keys that we have got for Steam keys, so we will send those out to users that will really pull that down and give them the Steam version. And how would we just start outside of Steam early access? That's something we, we would definitely look to. I mean, it's something to, to have a conversation outside of this if you wanted to. Absolutely, you know, we're, we're looking to get as many games on, on the platform as possible, really. So, yeah. Anyone else? Sorry, I know it's Mark, I know it's quite boring sometimes. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for your time. Thanks.